Good morning, gentlemen, dignitaries on the dais, my industry colleagues, exhibitors, and visitors to PaperX. We welcome you all to the sixth edition of PaperX South. Over the next three days, we hope you will be enlightened with the technologies on display and interesting topics that are being discussed in the panel discussions. I thank IARPMA for having me speak a few words on the Indian paper industry. I will limit myself to the RCF-based industry in India, which accounts for about 75% of the production in India. As you all are aware, today we are passing through a very tough phase. Energy costs are at an all-time high, raw materials are scarce, environmental issues are plaguing the industry. Hence, I would request all of you to pull up our socks and then we have to weather through this difficult phase in days to come. As we all can see currently, the energy costs are at an all-time high, raw material prices are volatile, supplies are erratic, and collection is low. Environmental issues are becoming stringent day by day, and we all have to be very careful in the future days to come. As, as per me, as per my observations, raw material security one is one of the most important aspects for our industry. Day by day, because of the increase in productions, the availability of raw material is coming down. Imports have also been coming down. Some estimates say that over the past few years, about 10% of imports have come down in India. Because of the increased efforts on overseas industries and RCF-based production, the availability to export raw material from overseas has also been coming down. Hence, we all have to make our own efforts to increase the supplies in India, either by increasing the collection of waste paper or by going into alternative raw materials. Estimates say that in India, the raw material collection is only about 45 to 50 percent, whereas in overseas markets, they range anywhere between 70 to 90 percent. So we have to make very good efforts to increase our raw material collection and I think Development Council along with IRPMA and CBPRI is headed in this direction and we hope some good things will come out of this. We can also try and use the agro waste residues that are today going waste in the fields and that are being burned causing environmental hazards. So I would request CBPRI to develop some technology to treat the black liquor so that small industries like us can start using the agro waste. Energy is the next biggest contributor to our manufacturing costs. Over the past one year or so, the energy costs have gone up by almost 10%, biting into our profit margins. So we all have to work to decrease the cost of energy in our cost of production. I also see that there are a few topics that are being discussed today and tomorrow on energy and I request all our industry colleagues to take advantage of it and we implement it in our system. Many small mills are not able to invest in technologies to decrease our energy consumptions. So I wish the government can come in support of the industry in forms of technology upgradation fund so that small industries like us can put up investments and technologies towards this and decrease our cost of energy. Environmental issues are also becoming stringent day by day. Drawing of water, one of our main inputs, has become very strict. We have to be accountable for every drop of water we draw. Because of this, all mills have been pushed towards ZLD and all mills are adopting ZLD technology today. But unfortunately, this has had some side effects some unpleasant side effects like bad order and bad water quality of our production. We have to address this and already Mr. Jain from Unido has come out with a simple and cost effective technology to bring down the order and we have been running the system in our plant for the past 6-7 six, six, months and it is giving results. I think he is presenting a paper tomorrow on this as well. So I think we all can adopt this technology and see that our order free paper can be produced. And finally, a word on demand and supply. The estimates for Indian paper industry is about 20 million tons as on today, out of which 50% is the packaging paper. 50% Writing printing, sorry. 25% is writing printing and about 10% newsprint. 
The Chrysler estimate says that about this uh, packaging paper growth will be in the order of about 9 to 10 percent over the next five years. But as you can see, our production capacities have been increasing more than that. And the estimates of the production in the next five years, increase in production in the next five years is more than 10 percent. In South India alone, around 7 lakh tons of paper packaging production is coming into play in the next two years. Because of all this, we, are, we may face a sluggish market in the next few years or so, and we have to gear ourselves to get out of this situation by increasing our quality and trying to cater to the imports as well as try and export our paper. For that, we need investments in upbringing the quality and not quantity. Thank you.